Doc, we all have too much, and what I've noticed is it seems to accumulate when you're not looking. Aha, uh -huh, yes, but Consumer Reports has some clever ideas on how to get rid of it and how to get rid of practically anything. Valley News Team's Lisa Badeau has our story. Megan Collins is sending her daughter to college and turning her bedroom into a guest room. What about her unwanted stuff? We're getting rid of, there's a little stack of old electronics, anything from computers to curling irons. Uh, there's a stack of CDs, there's old books. First stop, the closet. Charities like Goodwill accept your clothing and what they can't sell or repair gets recycled into cleaning cloths for industrial buyers. Next up, books. Pop your titles into bookscouter.com and compare dozens of book buying sites to find the one that will pay the most for your books. Got used textbooks? Get cash for them at cashforbooks.net. Now onto those small appliances that are in good condition, like this air conditioner. They can find a new home through your local Habitat for Humanity Restore, Vietnam Veterans of America, or other charities. Your town or county government might have a recycling program for your non-working appliances and electronics. Selling sports equipment, small furniture, or instruments on Craigslist is easier than eBay because no shipping. But take well-lit photos of your clean, uncluttered items to get the best price. What about an unwanted mattress? Avoid hauling it to the curb and having it end up in a landfill. Donate it to your local women's shelter or homeless shelter instead. Bed linens and towels can go to Goodwill or the Salvation Army, but if they're worn, your local animal shelter would love to give them new life as bedding for pets. Lisa Badeau, Valley News Live. And Consumer Reports says that if you're getting rid of a laptop, perform a fresh installation of your computer's operating system as dictated by either Microsoft or Apple on their website, and then opt to remove all of your personal files and your apps and your settings. A lot to remember. I know. The NDSU men and women's basketball teams put on quite a show for the fans tonight ahead of the upcoming season. A look at the inaugural Bison Hoop tip-off later in sports. Up next, a new cancer treatment promises to have dramatic effects, but it's also grueling and costly. What you're in for if you qualify for the treatment.